Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some unpopular spring fragrances that I'm still excited to wear this spring. Now listen, a lot of times I get caught up in speaking of new releases or the popular fragrances, fragrances that I feel like you guys wanna hear about. You know, like the new new or the new kid on the block, the girl that's getting all the attention at the moment. These fragrances right here are fragrances that I wear that I'm excited about, that I love, that I don't really talk about on the channel because I feel like ain't nobody really checking for them like that. <laughs> but I mean, if I'm gonna be honest with you and share with you what I'm really excited to wear, then these fragrances are in the bunch. Just because I don't talk about them doesn't mean I'm still not wearing them, still not loving them, and still not very excited to wear them. So if you wanna hear about the unpopular fragrances that I'm very excited to wear this spring, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Okay, y'all, so the first one is an honorable mention, and this fragrance is very, very affordable, okay? It's not viral but it's affordable. And that is by Elizabeth Arden and it's the green tea fragrance. It's the green tea original one because she has so many scents of these. Like there's green tea cherry and strawberry and pomegranate and coconut and just a whole lot of them. I have three of them actually. And I get tempted in buying like the other scents, but the green tea is definitely a staple. This fragrance right here has some history. Allow me a moment. <laughs> my mother used to wear this fragrance all the time. I grew up seeing this fragrance on her dresser. She had a couple of fragrances. She wasn't the frag head. It was my father that was a frag head in the family. So he might have bought this for her. <laughs> um, she had pleasures and like all the beautiful, like all those fragrances. And this was definitely on her perfume tray. And I used to spray it. I used to smell it. I used to love it. So this fragrance has so much history with me. And to this day, like I will always buy this fragrance. This is like $40, y'all. Well, inflation, it might've went up. It's probably like $50 now, but you can always find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, or, you know, sometimes you can see it for like very, very cheap. This was created by Francis Kirk John years ago, okay? Before he created the Baccarat Rouge, okay? This was one of his first creations. So this has rhubarb, mint, orange peel, bergamot. Do you hear those notes? So super fresh for a hot day or just like a nice balmy like spring day when the breeze is blowing like that warm breeze and it's blowing bergamot and citruses and rhubarb. So refreshing, so beautiful. There's a lemon, there's musk, jasmine, white amber, there's oak moss and fennel seeds like this fragrance is really really beautiful it doesn't smell mature to me although like i told you my mother used to wear it but this doesn't smell mature this smells really refreshing if you love mint not minty but you definitely smell the mint but if you love citrusy fragrances like just clean citrus fragrances but not laundry clean like a fresh citrus with some musky notes and some woody notes, you will absolutely love this. It is perfect for spring and summer. And it's a compliment getter. Like, let's start there. People definitely compliment this fragrance because, I mean, what's there not to love? Like, it's like a zinginess. It's like a tartness and a sharp, not, yeah, I would say it's sharp. It's, it, it's sharp. It doesn't have any creaminess or anything like that. It's not a warm floral. It's more like, a very sharp tart floral fragrance because of the citruses and because of the rhubarb but i love it and it's perfect for spring and summer i love it in the morning if i'm going on a walk bay and i bought bikes <laughs> so if we're riding the bikes like this is a perfect working out scent in the spring and summer like or just early in the morning going to the park or you know just doing something light nothing like crazy not a date night i wouldn't wear this to brunch like i'm not wearing this to brunch or lunch this is like shopping running errands but it's a nice spring fragrance and i will always have this it's so pretty and i just love how it smells it's pretty it's feminine and it's nostalgic to me so elizabeth arden green tea okay guys so this next fragrance when i tell you the bottle is everything and the scent is everything as well but it is not a popular fragrance. And the people that have smelled it hate it. Like, let's just start there. I wanna say this has more hate than love. But when I tell you, 
I'm a fan. I absolutely love this fragrance. And it's by Charlotte Tilbury and it's Scent of a Dream. When I tell you this fragrance right here is the ultimate pretty girl fragrance. Like, let's talk about it. This smells so beautiful. Now, when I got into this fragrance, YouTube reviews weren't really popular. So I saw this fragrance on Nordstrom's website. And when I read through the reviews, the people were trashing this fragrance. I guess they blind bought it because the bottle is so beautiful. And you know, Charlotte Tilbury is known for her beautiful makeup. So people blind bought it and they weren't loving it. I will say this is not a safe blind buy. It's a different scent, but it's still easy and beautiful, but it's different. <laughs> so this fragrance has lemon and peach, mandarin orange, bergamot, there's black pepper, tuberose, violet, jasmine, patchouli, incense, ambroxan, hedion. This fragrance is a floral fragrance. If you love florals, you will love this, but it's different. It's not your typical floral fragrance. It's not light and airy. It is like a heavy scent. People will smell you. It has a very like mature scent to it, but it's still flirty. It doesn't smell like when I say mature, like it's definitely not something that you're going to smell in Bath and Body Works. I don't think Bath and Body Works is going to be duping this one right here. Okay. <laughs> this one actually smells like there's oud in it, but there's no oud listed, but it has a creaminess to it, guys. That's so freaking addictive you have the florals and you have the woody notes and you know that's common but it's something in this fragrance that's giving it a beautiful sweet creaminess that i am just obsessed with this fragrance is beautiful it's a compliment getter it lasts all day on the skin the sillage and the scent trail that this leaves is incredible okay incredible if you want people to smell you and be like damn what she got on like trust me this one is the one but it's not a safe flying by smell it when you go to bloomingdale's like it's never by the perfume counter you have to go by the charlotte tilbury makeup and they'll have it that's where it is you're not going to see it with all the other perfumes i mean this bottle is like outer space the scent is like outer space i absolutely love it and it's a spring fragrance that i can't wait to wear and it's very unpopular so charlotte tilbury sense of a dream okay guys so this next fragrance i purchased in bali last summer because i was smelling it there and i mean it smells incredible to me it's a floral fragrance but it's a fresh floral fragrance and it's by dior the christian dior Privé line and it's sakura i have the smallest bottle that it comes in only because i mean i have so many fragrances <laughs> that i really didn't need the large bottle of this i just wanted it because of the beautiful floral powdery fresh scent that it was giving me and because i live here like on the east coast i didn't need a big bottle because i'm not wearing fragrances like this all year it's really just this season and i love these kind of fragrances so i have a lot of them so i didn't need a large bottle but it is such a gorgeous fragrance like i said it's powdery it's musky it's clean and it's fresh so it's definitely fitting that clean girl aesthetic if you're going to brunch and you're just somebody that likes to smell clean and fresh, you guys know what my personality, my fragrance personality, I love heavy, I love super sweet, I love gourmand, I love florals, I love fresh, I love everything. Like I'm all over the place. Like I love a little bit of everything. So on those days when I'm feeling like I want to smell fresh and powdery and clean, but still floral, this is the perfect scent. So this opens up with cherry blossom, there's rose, there's jasmine, mimosa, violets, and white musk. I mean, pure as day. Like there's no fruity notes. It's not super sweet, but it does have like a little sweetness from that muskiness in the dry down, but it's mainly like a floral, powdery, fresh scent that smells so clean and so fresh perfect for a spring day walking through like the cherry blossom row like if you guys have that where you live where all the cherry blossoms are and it's so beautiful this is a perfect fragrance to wear if you're wearing a dress like a white dress in the summer with a nice flat sandal this is the perfect clean fragrance you know minimal makeup your hair brushed back nothing you know out of place the jewelry is very minimal but chic this is the type of fragrance that you'd pull for dior's sakura all right guys so this next fragrance it came and went <laughs> like it's still here on the market it's still available to purchase but i feel like nobody talks about this fragrance and it's by hermes it's the latest twilly flanker and it's tootie 
Y'all, I love this fragrance. If you ever read reviews about this, please give this a chance because fragrances are so subjective and everybody has their opinions and some of the reviews are just unhinged, okay? Like what they're saying this fragrance smells like is kind of crazy, but this is such a beautiful scent. If you love ginger, if you love lychee, if you love musky fragrances, you'll love this because that is what this smells like. You smell the ginger, you smell the musk, and you smell the lychee. And it was a lychee for me, okay? I love ginger and lychee. So if you're gonna have ginger and lychee in one fragrance, hello, sign me up. This is a gorgeous fragrance. It lasts on the skin. Like, it's very powerful. I wanna say all the Twilly fragrances are powerful. I don't have any issues with performance when it comes to the Twilly scents, but this is perfection for spring. This is lunch, this is brunch. Again, another fragrance that you're gonna wear with a dress. You can wear this with heels, with flats. You can dress it up a little bit, but I wanna wear this like in the evening or at night. This is strictly like an afternoon scent for me. Like it's not necessarily morning because for me, I love citruses in the morning. And if it's morning time, I'm running errands or, you know, running around. So I'm gonna wear something that's very citrusy or, you know, whatever. This is like afternoon, like going shopping or going to lunch, going to meet up with people. This is that type of fragrance. I wouldn't take it into the nighttime, but it's such a gorgeous scent. Like I said, don't read the reviews cause they are unhinged. Smell it, okay? So if you love lychee, if you love ginger, if you love musky fragrances, you will love this because that's basically what this is. So Tootie by Hermes. This next fragrance is by Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line and you guys already know I love these fragrances and I love collecting them because these bottles are just everything to me. They're so classy and sophisticated, but yet simple and elegant. I just love them, y'all. And the fragrances, I love them because they're all fresh. Like, they're fresh and sweet. I feel like you really can't go wrong with any of these fragrances. None of these fragrances from the Aqua Allegoria line have any notes that are off-putting. You just have to find the one that you love the most. But I want to say that you can't go wrong with any of them. This one is Peregrinita. This has pear... This has grapefruit, this has orange blossom and musk. It has more notes, but that's mainly like what I pick up in my nose. Like you smell the grapefruit in the opening, but it's not masculine. Cause I know sometimes grapefruit can read kind of masculine, but it's like a sweet, like if, if I had to say, it's probably like a pink grapefruit, you know what I mean? Um, and then you have the pear, you have orange blossom, you have a white musk. It is such a beautiful fragrance. It's an EDT but you guys already know I don't mind taking my fragrance taking a decant to reapply if I need to but um I don't really have any issues with these fragrances like to be honest I have EDPs that lack in performance over this EDT so don't let that fool you because it's still a high performing fragrance it smells amazing it's perfect for brunch and lunch it's just perfect for spring okay spring vibes all the way you can dress this up a little bit but in the daytime okay these are all we gonna get to something that i would wear at night but for the most part these are daytime fragrances for the spring and the summer so peregrinita by guerlain's aqua allegoria line okay so we know about tiziana terenzi to bit we know about Delox. we know about spirito fiorentino like there's so many popular fragrances by the tiziana terenzi line that we hear about all the time this one, I'm not saying you don't hear about it, but you don't hear about it as much. Like Andromeda, you hear about it a lot. You hear about Cassiopeia a lot, but no one really talks that much about Draco. Draco, y'all, do not sleep. I don't know if it's the name because Draco sounds masculine maybe, I don't know. But y'all, this fragrance is beautiful and it's an easy fragrance, okay? If you love pear, like a musky pear, you will love this fragrance, okay? This has bergamot, lemon, orange, green notes. It's very fresh in the opening, perfect for spring. There's jasmine, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, tonka. The pear is in the base in this fragrance, but it smells like it's in the entire fragrance, like top, mid, and in the base. You're gonna smell the pear the entire time. Y'all already know I love pear, okay? When it comes to a good pear fragrance, like, sign me up. I want to say all the fragrances that we spoke about already, or some of them, the majority of them that we've spoken about, feature pear. I love how pear smells. Hello, Amorous Intense. Okay, hello, pear. 
I love the pear guys it just smells so good and especially for spring and summer it is amazing so Draco guys do not sleep on this fragrance because you don't hear people talking about it like Cassiopeia and Andromeda and Tibet and all those those are gorgeous and I absolutely love them but Draco is amazing and I want to say Draco is easier to wear than let's say a Tibet definitely easier than Spirito it lasts forever on the skin. You're definitely gonna smell that muskiness, but it's not too ambery, it's not too oody or anything like that. You're gonna smell the pear. If you love pear, you will love this. It's such an easy, playful, fun, flirty, sexy fragrance. You can wear this at night, okay? You can definitely wear this on a date night. You can wear it in the day, you can wear it in the morning, you can wear it to brunch, like, you can do a lot with this fragrance right here. You can also save 20% using my discount code, thegreat 20 on soavantgarde.com. Try out Draco, don't let it fool you because of the name. It's definitely a feminine scent. Don't let it fool you because it's not super popular. This one is a banger, Draco by Tiziana Terenzi. It's the fact that I could have called this a pair fragrances for spring video <laughs> because this next fragrance also features the note of pear, but it also has raspberry, there's sandalwood. This fragrance is not popular whatsoever. It's still on the market, but nobody talks about this. This is Amo Ferragamo Perle. When I tell you this fragrance is mouth-wateringly juicy, look at the dent in this fragrance. Y'all know I have a lot of fragrances, okay? This is like almost at half, and I also have a travel size because when I got this, I got this in a set. So I actually finished the travel size bottle, and then, you know, I have this, obviously, I sprayed this before I leave the house, and I have my travel size with me. Y'all, juicy juicy okay it smells so good it's like juicy a little sweet like it's definitely a sweet fragrance but it's not cloyingly sweet it's also fresh but it's not fresh like clean laundry or anything like that it's like a fresh juicy clean fragrance but it's still sweet you know what i mean like it's not a skin scent it's not a musky scent or anything like that it just smells so pretty but it doesn't smell basic to me either and it has like a creaminess in the dry down although it's super juicy and a little tart in the opening because of the pear and the raspberry that sandalwood in the dry down y'all takes it to another creamy level it is so gorgeous so this opens up with pear and raspberry there's magnolia osmanthus uh, musk sandalwood and cedar and i love osmanthus in my fragrance and i realized that when i got my louis vuitton etoile filante i love how that smells and the osmanthus mixed with the strawberry and this has osmanthus and it's mixed with the raspberry so it's just a really good combination i don't know where y'all gonna smell this at <laughs> it is online i can link it for you but i don't know where you can smell this in store you know what maybe bloomingdale's you can definitely smell it at bloomingdale's they'll have it um, I don't know if they have it in store at Macy's, but I think it's online at Macy's, definitely online at on Bloomingdale's, but it's not in your Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom or anything like that. I mean, maybe check. I don't know. Every store is different, but it's definitely not like a popular fragrance. It's not on Sephora.com or anything like that. Um, I don't even think this is on Ulta. I'm gonna link it where I can find it. It's a beautiful fragrance, Amo Ferragamo Perle. Okay guys, this next fragrance, it's a musky fragrance. A lot of people would call the musk synthetic, but your girl don't care. I love how this smells. This is by Narciso Rodriguez and it's Floor Musk. It's basically rose and musk. It is perfection to me, y'all. I love this fragrance. If you guys are no stranger here, you already know I love me some Narciso Rodriguez, okay? People say the musk is synthetic, la da 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 whatever, whatever, yada yada. Like, I don't care. It smells so good to me. I love how this smells. Like, it's definitely, like, one of my favorite fragrances. I don't talk about it all the time, but it's something that I just love smelling, and I love wearing it. Like, it makes me feel like a woman. Does that make any sense? Like, it's something about the roses and the musk in this fragrance that's just so womanly to me and so sexy to me. And it has, like, a classiness to me as well. But still sexy and fun and flirty, but womanly and classy and elegant. I love this fragrance. Like I said, you gotta love rose because you definitely smell the rose. And you have to love musk. And this is the same type of musk that's in for her 
that's in Poudre and all the other Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. But if you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like I just love this fragrance. It lasts forever on the skin. I have no performance issues. I have the flanker, I forgot the name of it. Um, Musk Noir Rose beautiful fragrance i got that before the tiktok hype i love that fragrance but it doesn't perform how i would want it to perform but when i layer these two ten ain't nobody smelling better trust me when i tell you that combination is wicked it is deadly it smells so good so this opens up with pink pepper there's rose peony musk patchouli and amber it is a gorgeous scent. Nobody talks about it. Nobody cares about it. It's a designer fragrance. It's not popular. It's not hyped up, you know, but I love it. It smells so good on my body chemistry. And if you love rose and musk, try this out. Floor Musk by Narciso Rodriguez. Next up is an unpopular Bond number no. nine fragrance. I rarely hear anyone speaking of this one. And no, it's not Chinatown. <laughs> Because I know y'all don't like Chinatown, which I love me some Chinatown. But honestly, this one kind of has that polarizing scent as Chinatown. So if you hated Chinatown, don't blind buy this one, okay? This is Central Park West. Y'all, it's like a peppery floral. You smell jasmine. I want to say you kind of smell tuberose too, but there's no tuberose listed. But it kind of has that tuberosey, bubblegummy, rubbery type of scent. It has a peppery type of scent. I love this, okay? It's definitely different. It's not for everybody, but I absolutely love it. And I mean, look at the bottle. Like the bottle is so gorgeous. The bottle screams spring to me. Like I just love it. So it opens up with Ylang Ylang. There's Narcissus, there's Pepper. So it is peppery. There's Gardenia, Jasmine, Lime, Oris. There's Musk, Vetiver, Oak, and Oak Moss. It is a gorgeous scent to me. This can be a date night fragrance in spring and summer. Okay, definitely giving date night vibes. It's giving brunch vibes, but you're a little bit dressed up. It's not the bottomless pit or bottomless mimosa brunch. This is an elegant, classy brunch. This is like a garden party, like an outdoor setting type situation. Very beautiful setting. It is such a gorgeous fragrance. It's not a safe blind buy. Try to smell it when you go to Bloomingdale's or Saks or Neiman Marcus or wherever your bond is sold. Don't be discouraged because it's not a popular fragrance. Smell it for yourself and see, you know, you might love this fragrance. Like I said, it's floral, but it's different. It's like a peppery floral you definitely smell jasmine if you love tuberose even though it's not listed it has that kind of scent to me try this one out y'all central park west by bond number nine okay this next fragrance is a killian fragrance and i haven't worn this one yet but y'all i love it so much can't stop loving you by killian okay so when i first smelled this last year or whenever it came out i felt like it smelled very similar to love don't be shy I'm so wrong about that y'all because this has a honey note and the honey note is shining and the honey in this fragrance is very sweet. Like I said, I haven't worn this fragrance yet, like full body wear it out the house, but I did spray it a bunch of times in the house and I cannot wait to wear this out because it is so gorgeous. For me, I feel like this is like a good girl going bad met love don't be shy. Like they had a baby. <laughs> That's what this smells like to me because it has that florally kind of spicy uh aspect of good girl gone bad but then it has that sweet fluffy marshmallowy kind of scent of love don't be shy orange blossom honey oak moss madagascar vanilla and olibanum it is such a gorgeous scent it's fresh it has the sweetness of the honey it still has like a little little bit of the love don't be shy dna i mean i love it can't stop loving you killian so the next fragrance is one of my most worn clive christian fragrances and it's crab apple blossom i mean the proof is in the dent y'all like i'm beyond half of this fragrance i love it so much it's the rhubarb for me it is so freaking awesome. It opens up with sea notes and you definitely smell something a little marine when you first smell it, but it doesn't smell off-putting or weird. You know, like when you think of sea notes and rhubarb, it's like, 
what like where y'all going with this but it just works it smells amazing there's apple blossom there's bergamot mojito rhubarb driftwood and sandalwood and when i tell you the sandalwood always does it for me in fragrances y'all because it adds a creaminess so although this has rhubarb and sea notes and driftwood the sandalwood just creamies everything out it just adds a little creaminess on everything and it's so good like i'm so obsessed with this scent i mean y'all can see that like i love this so much nobody really talks about it i mean honestly nobody really talks about clive christian that much i don't know why but i just absolutely love them and i remember not wearing fragrances not not wearing fragrances like not having a large collection and going into neiman marcus and these stores and i would see the clive christian bottles and smelling 1872 and just feeling like oh my goodness like this is like the pinnacle like these are the fragrances of all fragrances for me you know like i remember feeling like that so clive christian fragrances definitely have a place in my heart and i just love how they smell like the dna just resonates with me they're not for everybody but i mean if you know you know if you get it you get it crab apple blossom is on soavantgarde.com and you can save 20 percent with my discount code the great 20 okay guys so the last fragrance on the list also has rhubarb and it also has rose and no it is not delina or any of her sisters it's by molten brown and it's delicious rhubarb and rose you definitely smell the rhubarb you definitely smell the rose and you definitely smell the deliciousness which is that cotton candy in the base when i tell you i'm obsessed with this scent it smells so good nobody talks about it i mean more for me okay <laughs> because this smells so freaking good y'all i'm telling you if you don't like delina you will love this first of all it doesn't smell anything like delina all right i'm just saying delina because of the rhubarb and because of the rose but there's way more notes in here that takes it to another place i love this i have the shower gel i want the oil like i hope they come out with an oil to this because i've never seen the oil i have other molten brown oils but i don't know why there's no oil to rhubarb and rose because I would be all over this. It smells so good. Like I said, you smell the rhubarb, you smell the cotton candy. There's grapefruit in here. Let me just tell y'all the notes. There's grapefruit, yuzu, there's lemongrass. Don't be scared, okay? <laughs> there's rhubarb, there's rose, there's mint, there's vanilla, there's musk and cotton candy. And when I tell you that sweet cotton candy, in the dry down is i mean you smell it throughout the whole entire fragrance not even gonna lie to you you can smell it throughout the whole fragrance but this fragrance is so good not enough people talk about it i don't think anybody talks about it but i mean that's why it's in this video okay fragrances for spring i'm excited to wear that are unpopular that nobody talks about. Delicious Rhubarb and Rose by Molten Brown. All right guys, we've made it to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what fragrances you're excited to wear for spring that are not popular. Let's talk about it like we always do. Remember guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.